and the reigning women's strike force bantamweight champion ronda rousey now you said you couldn't touch the belt yeah. until you defended the title congratulations champ touch it <laughs> now i saw a great little reunion just taking place is that your mom and your little sister yeah my little sister just uh she went off to boarding school at villanova recently on uh, an academic scholarship because she's one of the smart ones that decided to not get punched in the face for living <laughs> And uh, I had, this is the first time I've seen her since she went out to school. So uh, yeah, it was really, really nice to see her here at this time. It's special. Yeah, you say now that every fight you fight, like her life is on the line. Well, I mean, she's the person I really care about most in the world. So if I'm trying to motivate myself the most, I usually draw off of her. And what did mom have to say? She said, uh, I don't know, good job. <laughs> Something like that. I can relax now. So, something about how somebody else took her beer. <laughs> Which is funny, my mom, and I've never oh. seen my mom drink ever in my life until I started fighting. And then she was like, well, if they serve beer at judo tournaments, I would have drank when you fought then, too. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right, Mom. <laughs> now, you, it appeared as though you didn't try to strike with her. You, you punched your way to get her in the clinch, to get her to the ground. Once you had your hands on her, did you know that you had her? Uh, yeah, but I mean, it, it's really cool how I had to kind of change my habits from judo because in judo I have a tendency to rush because I only have a few seconds to get an arm bar. And this time I got it and I was like, okay, take your time, take your time. You know, like I thought if I went for it too early, I might lose my position, you know, kind of. So uh, I, I feel like I'm developing more as a mixed martial artist and that I was able to take my time and change my position around until I was happy with where I was at before I went for it. So I feel mature now yeah. at this point. I'm more relaxed and not just trying to like go, go, go like my earlier fights. Yeah, you are more relaxed. I know you say you compartmentalize things well. It appears as though you do. How do you do that? I want. I need to take a few lessons on compartmentalization. I don't know. You know, it's just years and years of competition. You know, like even before I was, um, uh, I did judo all the summer. I've been, you know, an athlete since I was six years old, and uh, I just my mom's a. Well, she had a PhD in developmental psychology, you know, and she's a judo world champion. She knows how to like raise a, a fighter from the ground up. So I owe pretty much everything of my mental capacity to her. Are chicken wings part of the compartmentalization this time around? Uh, yeah, I want I want hot wings and apple pie all mode. Not just like mixed, but you know, yeah. sometime tonight. <laughs> now I know that you moved your camp around a little bit. You said th that was what was different. You went up and trained with the Diaz brothers up in Stockton. You brought in Riker. Do you what do you attribute uh, or what did you implement, if anything, that you learned from them this time around? Um, you know. Um, did you have to? <laughs> you know, they just did a lot in just keeping me from um, plateauing. You know, you know, if you get in the same same environment all the time, I, I feel like changing your environment is really important. You know, there's a moderation. You can do it too much or too little. But um, they were great. They helped keep me motivated and help me, like, you know, still enjoy what I'm doing. I think that, um, like, Mike Tyson said, a happy fighter is a dangerous fighter, you know. And uh, they're really good about teaching me a whole lot of new things but still making sure that I'm enjoying the, the journey and not just the destination. Do you expect Cyborg next? Um, I expect anything. I'm, I, I'm, uh, I, I was looking for Wetzel because he's the one who's got my gloves, dude. I was like, really? Where is he? I, I really want to have it. But my mom's like, I'm a judo world champion. Come with me. And then my little sister's with me, too. I'm like, well, my little sister's next to me. And she comes to me in the parking lot. And I really do have the little sister motivation. So I don't really need the gloves. So I'm expecting anything at any moment. I expect either a fighter in January or in five minutes from now when I leave the building. All right. Sounds good. Well, congratulations, champion. You might want to change it from Rowdy Ronda Rousey to round one or... First round, Ronda Rousey. <laughs> I, know, I know, Rowdy, Rowdy, Rowdy Piper, man. He's the one that gave me the permission to use the name, and I'm very honored, and I won't change it for the world. Congratulations to you. Enjoy it tonight. I know you will.